Hi, my name's Frank Rourke. I'm the treasurer here at the Salford Astronomical Society on Cleveley Road in Salford. Now, it was built in 1971, wasn't it? Yes, the telescope was donated by the University of Manchester and it's come from Jodrell Bank. I've got to ask you this question. Has the popularity of Brian Cox and stargazing, has it affected you? I wouldn't, say it's it, <laughs> I wouldn't say... I was watching some of his programmes earlier on today. I wouldn't say it's actually filtered through to us yet, but certainly we are very keen to uh, accept anybody who's, uh, who's watched the programmes and has got a question to ask and can't ask Brian, come, come down and see us. Frank, we're inside the dome of the Salford Observatory you now. Yeah. Could you tell us about the telescope? Yeah, the telescope's here on your right. Um, it's a 18-inch Newtonian reflecting telescope. It's mounted here on the concrete block below, about 10 tonnes weight. goes into the bedrock, it's about 7 or 8 feet. Uh, nice, heavy, sturdy, equatorial mount, painted yellow here. It's an open-type Newtonian reflector design with an 18-inch mirror at, uh, at the bottom here. Um, which reflects the light back up again to prime focus at the tip of the telescope which is a flat mirror at 45 degrees angle and that then pushes the light out to the right hand side where the eyepieces are situated. It's all quite simple, an idea which was developed by our friend Sir Isaac Newton uh, in the long dim and distant past and this is not the uh, culmination of it but it's a development of the same idea. I'm Bernie Shaw, I live in Presswich, just down the road, but I'm originally from this area, well, the harder part, Salford. What brought you here tonight, Bernie? Well, I saw the advert in the uh, library, looked terrific, I thought I'll go and try it out. Simple as that, but what I'm surprised at, no one knows what it is. Well, I've got to admit, I've lived in Salford all my life, I've read about the observatory, but I've never visited it, and... I'm totally amazed by it. It's great what we've got on our doorstep, isn't it? I think it's brilliant. And uh, hopefully my daughter and I will become members. And, and we've only seen a bit so far, but what we want to do is have Esther, hopefully, and myself, have a telescope assembled. I, I, I can't get over it. It's amazing. I've passed <laughs> this building so many times. I've heard about it. Yeah. And, and now tonight, there's, to my knowledge, there's six people downstairs who don't think have been. And I'm asking the most... Well, the great questions, aren't they? <laughs> well, I've been interested in astronomy for years, and I, I've only been coming for the past three. I am the treasurer here at the club. Um, uh, it's nice and an honour to be the treasurer. Uh, I've developed a, a, a liking and a fondness for the telescope since I came. I've never seen it before, and uh, um, it's really... Uh, fascinating piece of, in, of kit to actually use once the, uh, the dome is open and, uh, and we've got the, uh, the eyepieces in and the, the motor's up and running and uh, there's something interesting to look at in the sky. It's a, it's a really nice piece of uh, instrumentation to actually use. We do have smaller telescopes uh, situated below us and be, if, the, if the situation uh, is a bit hit and miss we can take those, those out instead of going to the trouble of opening this uh, it's rather complicated and cumbersome equipment, up, but it's, it's, it's possible, but uh, we tend to do it when the view is very good. We've got about uh, 35 to 40 members at the moment, yeah, we're just sort of completing subscriptions at the moment, but we tend to uh, go around about that figure every year. Do you give talks to societies on it? Yeah, school parties, cubs, guides, that sort of thing. Uh, virtually anybody who wants to uh, to come down, members of the public. We have an open night uh, the first Wednesday of every month during the uh, the winter months, uh, which the public are very, very uh, welcome to come down and, uh, and have a look at the telescope and, uh, and have a bit of a chat with the members. And the other evenings, uh, are more uh, Wednesday nights, are more members' nights, uh, but we do hold lectures at the uh, University at Salford in the Maxwell Building, which uh, again are free and open to anybody who's interested, uh, and they take place uh, once a month during the uh, during the winter. Really, really um, informative. But I'm like a kid in a toffee shop with this kind of stuff, so um, it makes me want to go out and you know look at more stars. Well, You'd recommend it to everyone. I do. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, better than sitting in a pub, isn't it?